Mental Health Colorado is working every day to advance prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of mental health and substance use disorders. Now, they want to hear from you during a very important forum with the candidates for the Colorado's next governor. Mental Health Colorado President and CEO Andrew Romanoff joins us with more. Good to see you again, Andrew. Thanks, Denise. You too. So let's talk about Mental Health Colorado. What is it? We're an advocacy organization. We're a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. We got established in 1953. Uh, we're trying to make Colorado a national leader in the prevention and treatment of mental health and substance use disorders, as you said. Uh, and I'll offer a spoiler alert here. We're not there yet. Uh, Colorado, by last count, ranked 43rd in the nation. We ought to be number one. Absolutely, we should. More people should be talking about it and helping others. You're having a forum on mental health and also substance use disorders. What are we going to learn at that event? So we'll learn where candidates stand. We're asking the folks who are running for governor, and there are a lot of them, uh, to answer questions and share their views on what it will take to make Colorado a leader in preventing and treating these disorders. We figure candidates have to answer tough questions all the time when they're running for offices like governor. We want to put mental health on their agenda as well. Absolutely, right in the forefront and this is something everyone's talking about right now so it's nice that you're gonna like put them to the hot seat and find out what their views are on mental health why do you think this is such an important subject to have with our future governor well for one thing it's an issue that touches every single family in Colorado including mine uh, there are more than a million folks in this state who experience a mental health or substance use disorder each year only half of them get the treatment they need uh, and when you think about it if only half of the American population with cancer got treatment there would be a national outcry. We'd march on Washington. And yet that is the situation we've allowed to unfold when it comes to mental illness. So we want to know what these candidates who seek to become our state's next governor are going to do about it. How will they invest in prevention and early intervention? How will they tackle stigma so more people are more comfortable getting care? Uh, what can we do instead of uh, turning our criminal justice system into a warehouse for folks with mental illness or drug mm -hmm. or alcohol addiction. You're asking students to submit questions, which is great. You're going to colleges or high school? High or schools, really? uh, middle schools. Yeah, we're not, we're not yeah. going to discriminate here. Wonderful. We figure kids have more at stake in some ways in the, in the outcome of these elections because they're going to be around longer. Right. So we're asking kids to submit their questions, or adults can chime in too, uh, by using the email address deargovernor at mentalhealthcolorado.org, dear governor at mentalhealthcolorado.org. All right, there it is at the bottom of your screen right now, dear governor at mentalhealthcolorado.org. That's where you can submit your questions. Do it today. Hey, if your kid's at school right now, mom and dad, and you're watching, make sure you talk to them about this. This is an important health forum, and they can get their questions asked. And at that age, middle school, high school, they're trying to figure out who they are in life. And so sometimes they struggle with depression and anxiety. Well, that's true. Uh, and they're also fearless. You know, you've seen kids across the country, including obviously those who survived the tragedy in Parkland, Florida, put questions to politicians uh, mm -hmm. without fear. Uh, and if kids want to submit these questions, they don't uh, only have to write them out. They could also uh, videotape their questions uh, and we'll play them on the big screen at the forum itself on March 23rd. Oh, that's fantastic because yeah. they're so tech savvy these days. Yeah. Let's talk about mental health and the o opioid, opioid, I cannot <laughs> say that, yeah. the crisis. Those are hot topics right now. Do you think people that are suffering from mental health sometimes take drugs to kind of make them feel better? Clearly, uh, that's a big part of the problem. Okay. When folks aren't getting uh, their mental illness treated, they end up medicating themselves often with drugs or alcohol. So they end up with a co-occurring diagnosis, a, a mental illness on the one end, a substance use disorder on the other. Uh, and what would be a better approach uh, in the view of all the experts we've talked to uh, is to actually tackle the mental illness up front. Mm -hmm. We know that in most cases the first signs of mental illness appear during adolescence, but there's a gap of about eight to ten years between the onset of symptoms and the arrival of treatment, and that's a gap we need to close. Okay, quickly, um, talk about Mental Health Colorado. I want to ask, this is a nonprofit, so if somebody wants to help out, how can we help out? <laughs> and then also, um, you're passionate about this. Why are you so passionate? So thanks for asking uh, both questions. Uh, look, uh, we are a nonprofit. We rely on contributions. People can go to mentalhealthcolorado.org uh, to learn more or to support the organization. We're certainly grateful for all the tax-deductible contributions we get. Good. Uh, this issue matters to me personally. Uh, because I've lost one of my closest relatives in the world to suicide three years ago. Uh, a first cousin I thought of as my kid's sister uh, took her life on New Year's Day in part because uh, she was suffering from a, a very deep depression that she didn't want any of us to know about. Uh, she didn't get the treatment she needed uh, and she died at the age of 35. I joined mm -hmm. this organization, this cause, 
because I wanted to spare more families the anguish that we've suffered. Well, thank you for doing the work that you're doing. Thanks, it's so Denise. important. You can attend this important mental health forum. It's called Meet Colorado's Next Governor and will be held Friday, March 23rd from 11.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. at the PPA Event Center in Denver. Submit a question at deargovernor at mentalhealthcolorado.org.